Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while since I sat down and filmed a video. I've just been busy. I've got a new guide dog, as you guys might have seen. And um, I've just not really had the time to sit and film videos over the last few months. And just why I've not really been around. I'm on my Instagram all the time. If any of you follow me on there, you'll know that I'm quite active on my Instagram, but on YouTube, uh, I don't really get as much of a chance to film as much these days. So I apologize for that. I know a few of you have missed seeing me because you've commented on my last video. So hello, uh, welcome back. Nice to see you all again. And welcome to any new faces as well to my channel. Um, so today I thought I would do my annual what I got for Christmas video for 2021 and I just thought I would show you guys what I got this year for Christmas because a lot of you guys really like these videos. I get messages every year at Christmas to ask me if I'm going to be making another one and you guys just seem to like watching them and I love making them and I love watching them myself so I thought yeah sure I'll do that I will sit down and film a video showing you guys what I got for Christmas this year and this year I'm going to do it a bit differently in previous years you've probably seen that I've done in order of what people got me by each person but this year I thought I would split it into categories of different kinds of things that I got just because I thought that might be a bit more interesting for some of you guys who are interested in certain things that I get given uh, and just to show you guys what sort of things I got this year so the first category I'm going to start off with is main presents and by that I mean the more big ticket kind of larger things that I got this year that I had asked for. Let's start off with a big surprise shall we? Uh, this was one of the things that I opened this year for my mum and dad and this is a Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer. I have wanted one of these for such a long time but this is like a rather indulgent purchase and it's not the sort of thing that I would personally just go out and buy myself on a whim because I'm just not that fancy but I have it now courtesy of my mum and dad so this is basically a machine and you can buy sachets of hot chocolate from them as well and it will froth and heat the chocolate and make it really creamy and smooth to the perfect temperature so it's like a proper barista style hot chocolate I think this is the white one I think she got me and it just, just looks so exciting I'm just really excited to try it and like I said this is more of a big ticket kind of thing I've seen them advertised everywhere so many people have them and they look so fancy and I love me a hot chocolate so she got me this and when I opened it I was really surprised although I will actually say to you now I first of all opened this which is a sachet set of the classic drinking chocolate so the classic flavor you get uh, and I opened that first and I was like why have I got that and I was kind of suspicious from that point on I was like am I gonna open a velvetizer and I actually did I got this necklace from Alex Monroe so this was again from my mum and dad and it is a necklace that has a ship on a moonlit night on it and it has silver and gold detailing to it so it's really lovely in that sense because I can wear either silver or gold jewellery with it and it's beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous and I saw it a while ago and I've been eyeing it up for ages since then because it reminds me of Peter Pan with Jolly Roger and also Treasure Island and I don't know I just really liked it it's just very whimsical and nautical and I love stars and moons and it has a moon on it now the last big item that I received I did actually know about because I had asked for it first off this was one of the first things I asked for for Christmas this year and it's a new pair of hunter wellies I love hunter wellies I live in them because I have two dogs that I walk um, so naturally I use them a lot um, and my mum got me the glossy black short ones I love the short ones I think they're very comfortable and I wanted black because I thought I'll be able to wear them with practically every colour they're a bit more versatile and they're just very smart looking. Now I want to move on to cosy things. This is kind of like a category that has your obligatory pyjama slippers, uh, dressing gown, all that sort of thing. So my mum and dad got me this 
um, lovely dressing gown because my other one's very tattered and not as fluffy anymore. So they got me a new one. This is dusky pink. It's very soft and just a lovely thick material. They also got me some slippers to match. They got me pink slippers. These are like the mule espadrille style slipper, which I really like. I like ones that have backs on them. I don't like back slippers because I feel like I'm always going to fall over in the damn things. So they got me these ones and they're pink polka dot ones that match my dressing gown, which I thought was very nice because I like to be matchy matchy even with uh, my pyjamas because I'm that extra. So I have some slippers. And then I also got from my parents some new pyjamas, which are so cute. These are Christmas pyjamas. They are a green and they've got little houses on them, mince pies. London buses, Father Christmas, a little London taxi cab. They are very cute and um, they are just very essentially Christmas and I just love them. And then this is the top. The top is also long sleeve, which I like. Um, and these were from Next, I believe, and they always do really good pajamas. So I'm so happy to have these. They are so cute and they're green. They match my room as well. So they got me those as well. So I have all the full shebang, the pajamas, the slippers, the dressing gown. So now I'm going to move on to homeware. So I did get a few homeware kind of things because as you know, my room was recently decorated and I've been trying to get things that go with the theme of my bedroom. Um, so first of all, I have this set from my mum and dad. This was something I saw at the British Library a while ago and I just really liked it. So I said to my mum, if you want to get me anything for Christmas, get me these. So this is a little like a filing cabinet and inside you've got library cards or copies of library cards that are actually from the Library of Congress and they also have these really cute little library card entries that you can write um, books and stuff so I think the idea of it is to be like your own personal library record so you can write what books you've read and stuff like that and page entries and stuff like that so they are really cute and I just love the aesthetic of the box because it's like a proper little card catalogue and it's really really cute I love it this is my kind of aesthetic so they got me these which I was really happy about because I saw them a while ago and I loved them this next thing was from my auntie so my auntie got me this really lovely little gift set and this is a grow your own mascari gift set so in this you've got two little glass jars and the idea of these is they have bulbs in them and you fill them with some water and you watch them grow and you can watch them grow from inside your house and then you can plant them out in the garden when they are sort of flowering and they're coming to finish so you can put them in as bulbs but I love this idea because I love anything botanical my whole room is themed around botanical things so it's my kind of aesthetic again from my mum and dad they got me this this is a set of bookmarks they are from a company called bibliophile and there are two in there so this is what they look like they're ceramic and they've got different book titles on them so there's Frankenstein Pride and Prejudice A Tale of Two Cities Alice's Adventures in Wonderland Moby Dick um, and they are just really lovely and I just love the aesthetic of them and my idea is to have a collection of my, my very fancy collectible books that I have and then put these either side of them um, again I saw these from the British Library and I just really liked them another thing from my mum and dad that is also homeware is this mirror or well, you probably can see the camera in that um, this is a gold like baroque style mirror and it's handheld and this um, is in the style of a key I absolutely love it because it does give me real secret garden vibes and that's really my aesthetic and I'm going to put this on my dressing table and it just looks really beautiful. Another homeware item is this. This is from Neom and this was from my mum and dad and it's the Wellbeing Pod Mini. So I think last year I showed you that I got the Neom um, diffuser, the big one, and I absolutely love it. It is like the best thing they could have ever have bought me because you can put essential oils in it or like room oils in different fragrances I've got loads of different ones and you can add water and it makes your room smell at the fragrance it's a lot safer because you don't have to have an open flame with a candle and I love it I use it every single day I use it non-stop so she got me this one because she had seen it on the website and the idea of this one is it's a mini one and you can have it wherever you want so it's like supposed to be 
for traveling or if you want to have it in a in a room where you haven't got access to the electrics or mains and you can kind of use it as and where you want to use it so this is what it looks like it's a mini version of the big one it's pink and you can charge this up and then you can have it wherever you want um, I absolutely love this because my idea with this is I'm going to put it in my bathroom when I'm in there or I could have it by my bed and have like a particular fragrance if I'm going to sleep at night. It's just a really good idea and I think it's really practical if you're wanting it for a room where maybe you haven't got access to uh, any electric but you still want to have a fragrance and you don't want to have a candle. I think it's a brilliant idea. My auntie also got me these. I don't really know what category to put them in so I'm going to say that they're homeware but these are really lovely little mindfulness challenge cards there's 31 days here and the idea of it is each day there's a card with a prompt and you do the said thing to help with mindfulness and your mental health and i did get quite a few candles this year so i'm going to start off with the surprise that i got this is a diptyque candle I never buy myself diptyque candles even though I love them because I just <laughs> it's not again for me anyway it's not a sort of thing that I go out and buy myself because it's just for me it's not a necessary purchase but I love them my mum got me one for Christmas and it's called sapin so no surprises in guessing what it smells like it smells like trees um, the packaging and the actual design is lovely it's green and gold and the scent of this is like a fresh pine tree it's like a christmas tree but a bit more subtle it's lovely it's very very clean and earthy and it just smells really good i have that and then i have two candle gift sets to show you so the first one i have to show you is this one and this is from a brand called literati and light and they are a brand that make uh, literary themed scented candles and fragrances and they also have diffusers as well I love the concept and I saw these again at the British Library so in this set you've got three different candles and they're all inspired by different literary worlds so we have Wonderland which smells very sweet and quite like floral it smells like it's got rose in there of course we also have Riverdale which is oh it's very um woody and then we have this one which is narnia and this oh it's very fresh and earthy so i love how they've chosen different literary worlds and they've fragranced them to what they think they would smell like i think that's a really cool concept and then my mum also got me this lovely candle gift set from a brand called novo we have four different scented candles in here for different purposes so we have mulled wine for joy we have orange and clove for energize we have roasted chestnuts for awaken and christmas spice for peace but they're just lovely they come really nicely presented and they're really pretty candles the packaging is really lovely and then the last thing i have to show you is a reed diffuser this is from the candle brand and it's a cranberry with ginger diffuser and these are a bit different to your bog standard diffuser because the actual reed diffusers are made to look like flowers and I just love it there's four different ones and they're little roses and I think one of them's supposed to be a hyacinth but they are just so pretty and when I opened that I was like wow that is just so me okay so now I'm going to move on to clothing and accessories for anyone who's interested so from my nan and granddad they got me this beautiful elizabeth scarlet bag this is a deep cranberry red and it has gold embroidered bumblebees on it and it's the pouch like the clutch bag pouch i have quite a few of these bags in different designs i got the tiger one for my birthday and i'd seen this one and i really wanted it so they got me this one but I love the colour, it's beautiful, it's such a vibrant, rich colour. The other bags I have to show you are all from my mum and dad. So first of all, I have this bag, and this is a rucksack, and it has this beautiful meadow print on it with different uh, birds on there, and it's really lovely. The colours are all in muted greens and browns, and it's got this lovely fastening with a bumblebee on the top. But I just love the colour and it's also waterproof which is really good for me because uh, it won't get ruined. And I really just wanted to get a new rucksack because they are quite practical having a guide dog. 
so they got me this one and i absolutely love it this one was one i actually had asked for and it's this little green pouch so the idea of this is that you can put it around your waist and you can put a few things in it it's quite small but i needed that because having a guide dog i have a treat pouch on me often and I, the one that I've got at the moment is all right, but it's not very glamorous. And um, I just wanted something that looked a little bit more classy and just a little bit more in keeping with my outfits. So when I saw this one on Fable, I was like, that is perfect. That is exactly what I needed. The last bag they got me did actually come as quite a surprise because I hadn't actually asked for this one. And it's this beautiful green bag and it's a little crossbody bag. It's like a little boxy design and it's got the gold um, bumblebee on it and it's just really lovely it's quite small but it's just a nice size if you're just going out and you don't want to take a lot with you and I got my mum the brown one in this actually and she got me the green one because I love green I also got this hat from my mum and dad and I love it it's a beret and it's been made to look like a deer head so it's got little antlers and little ears and these deer spots on it but it's so cute and it's just so cottage core which I love from my friend Rochelle she got me this lovely scarf and it's a botanical themed scarf it's got these lovely butterflies on it and moons and flowers and it's in this lovely blue color with accents of green and pink it's also got toadstools on it but i love it it's really long and um it's quite a big scarf and it's just really really pretty and then from my friend alex eads who was charlotte eads's mum here on youtube um she gets me a gift every year for christmas and my birthday which is really sweet of her um i'll link the charity that they have set up for charlotte who passed away from a brain cancer a few years ago and they have a charity in her name so i always link that in the description box for anyone who would like to donate she got me this lovely set of lulu guinness socks which is very fancy i don't think i've ever had such a fancy set of socks in my life they are in this lovely box and there's three different pairs and they all have lips on them in the classic lulu guinness design and there's three different variations but they are really lovely and i always need new socks and they are very fancy so i feel very very bougie right now with my lulu guinness socks so i also have those as well and my mum got me a couple of things from joni she got me this lovely feral jumper which is the nocturne design i think it's called or nocturnal it's blue and it has stars and moons and owls and hedgehogs on it and it's all inspired by like night time if you're put off by these sorts of jumpers because they're usually quite itchy these are not they are so soft and i love them they are honestly some of the nicest jumpers that i've ever bought and they're really good quality she also got me this beautiful dress this is actually from the carrie hope fletcher collaboration that they did and this is the secret garden design it's beautiful it's like a midi dress and it's got little roses and keys and bumblebees on there all in muted colors it's very my aesthetic and because it's all secret garden themed i was like i need that in my life it's beautiful the design is so lovely and now i'm gonna move on to some jewelry from my friend Alex Eads again, she bought me this beautiful little jewellery box and this is in a lovely sage green colour I think you would say and it's got a little palm tree on it and you have all these dividers in here to be able to organise your jewellery but I really like it because I just love having things to organise my jewellery with and it's really pretty and I think you can use this as like a travel jewellery box as well so it's really ideal for me. Now moving on to the jewellery that I have so I have a few different pieces so first off I'm going to start with a couple of things that I received from my parents from a brand called hop skip and flutter first off i have these beautiful earrings they are the pink cherry blossom earrings i have the ring in this and i really wanted the earrings because i thought they would look beautiful in the springtime i think these are made out of ceramic they are all handmade so they're really really lovely and again another small business that i like to support and then the other thing that i got from them is a pair of snowdrop earrings i love snowdrops they're one of my favorite flowers and we're coming into that season now anyway and they'll look great for instagram pictures 
and this is what they look like they are really lovely they're just so delicate and i just absolutely love them and then i also have a beautiful new ring from bill skinner one of my favorite brands so my mum got me this ring which has a pomegranate on it it's an adjustable ring and i love pomegranates because of the story behind them with the myth of persephone and hades so i really like pomegranates for that reason but it's actually quite delicate it's not too over the top it's actually quite small i thought it was going to be a lot bigger but i'm actually happy about it because it's not too you know in your face it's actually quite a nice understated piece again for my parents i also got two new things from fable i collect a lot of their jewelry and i always ask for some new things for christmas and my birthday so that i can add to my collection so the first thing i have is a new brooch i think i've pretty much got all the brooches now for my collection and this one is a little lamb this was the only one I didn't have and I thought this would be lovely for springtime. So that is really, really cute. And then I also got a ring from them as well, which I had actually asked for, but it kept going out of stock. So I was worried that I wasn't going to get it for Christmas. And it's the Dormouse ring. I have this in the brooch and I love it. And it's very, very dainty. It's a little Dormouse and it's like hanging off a leaf. Um, but I really do like it because it's just very very sweet and i love dormice they're just such a cute animal so very very big on dormice now i want to move on to books because i did get a few new books to add to my collection this year so first of all i got this book by caroline duffy and it's called frost fair it has lovely illustrations in it and it's a poem all about the frost fair which i'm really interested in i love reading things about the frost fair so she got me that she also got me another book that actually goes in line with that and it's a new book and it's a children's book and it's by Emma Carroll and it's called A Night at the Frost Fair. I have the audiobook in this but I really wanted the illustrated version because the illustrations in it look really really magical so she got me that as well. I also have another children's book this is called by Rowan and You and it's the second book to uh, another one that I have which I got uh, for my birthday this year and then I also have two other books to show you this is a Wordsworth uh, edition of Great Expectations and it's the Wordsworth uh, collectible classics so they're all uh, kind of like bound hardback books and they've got different covers and I love this one it's blue and it's got a little candle on it and I love Great Expectations I've actually read this book it's one of the Charles Dickens novels that I have read cover to cover. <laughs> the other book that I got is Letters from Father Christmas and it's basically a collection of letters um, that were written from J.R. Tolkien to his children uh, and he wrote letters that were from Father Christmas and it's just got all the different um, letters that he wrote and it's got like the actual photos of the letters that he wrote along with the actual text next to it so you can read what he wrote and there's all illustrations in there as well and it's such a lovely book and I find it really interesting to kind of read more about Tolkien and his relationship with his children and I think this is a really lovely magical book and it's so interesting to see what kind of things he wrote now finally we move on to beauty i did get a few beauty things this year actually because most of this stuff is stuff that i had asked for there were a few surprises though first thing i got from my parents which actually was a surprise is this and it's from pharmacy and it's their green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm it's won an award for allure and i'm not surprised i have used this in the past i got it in a little gift set a few years ago and i loved it i thought it was amazing it was like the best cleanse i've ever used on my skin and i said to my mum i absolutely loved it and she remembered it and she actually bought it for me for christmas which was a surprise because it's not cheap it's not like the cheapest cleanser on the market but i loved it and she said oh you said you liked it so i thought i'd buy you the big one i also have this from my mum and dad this is from the ordinary and it's their aha 30% uh, BHA 2% peeling solution. Uh, this is basically a face mask. Use it uh, about once to twice a week. Put it on cleanse skin for about two to three minutes and it just helps to get rid of any dead skin and just to prevent any blocked pores, that kind of thing. I also have two things from Charlotte Tilbury, which is a first for quite a few years because I've not actually had anything from Charlotte Tilbury for my birthday or Christmas over the last few years because I haven't really asked for anything. But this year I got a new lipstick, which is beautiful. And it looks like this, it's a nude lipstick and it's a really pretty shade. It's like a brown tone nude. 
I guess this is kind of like your velvet teddy from MAC kind of colour, but I don't wear MAC products, so um, I don't really have that anymore. But this one is lovely, because it's a nice replacement, because I did actually like velvet teddy. Um, so this is a lovely colour. And then this was something I had actually asked for. This is the uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in Fair. I love this powder. I had it, and then I ran out, and again, it's like £30 to buy. So I was like, mmm... I'm not gonna buy that just yet, I'm gonna use what I've got left of my other powders, but I didn't really like them that much. So my mum got me this for Christmas. This uh, is like a lovely translucent setting powder, although it does have a little bit of a, a shade to it, but not too much. Um, but I love it, I absolutely adore it. It's a really nice powder, it's very light. It doesn't kind of bring out any pores, it doesn't make your skin look textured. And for that reason, I think it's a really good powder. So I have a new one now, which makes me very happy because my old one had run out. So I have a replacement. My mum also got me a new mascara from By Terry. And this is the Growth Booster Mascara. And this is in Mocha Brown, I think it's called. And this, for me, is really good because I actually did want a new mascara. And I really wanted a brown mascara because I've seen a lot of people on TikTok and Instagram talking about how brown mascara is good for blue eyes because it brings out your blue tones in your eyes and it can be a lot more subtler than black mascara so I had said to my mum I would like a brown mascara for Christmas and I'll leave it up to you what you get me and then lastly we have this box from Space NK so all of this came in a box with the candle from Diptyque and the mascara and this box is basically a skincare box full of goodies I think it's just skincare actually maybe there's makeup in there too actually and this has a collection of goodies if you can see that so there's lots of different things there's things from Sunday Riley and Shantakai there's things from Omnivixka, Algenis there's loads of different brands in there and it's like a sort of introductory gift box or like I think it's like their best selling products I'm not entirely sure but my mum got me that because it's got like a lot of different things that you can try so I thought that was a really sweet gift because now I have a whole um, sort of selection of things that I can try from different brands. So that concludes my what I got for Christmas video for 2021. I really hope you enjoyed it and you found it uh, interesting and I really hope you all had a lovely Christmas and thank you so much everyone for your support over the last year and for all the comments and the likes and the follows. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye everybody!